Jackson's new obsession. Hopefully falls over. We've hired a new gardener. I just hope I've done enough because oh, we're nearly there. And this is the downstairs shape progress with our walk-in wardrobe. And some bad news. I love cleaning. You love cleaning? This is me. Okay, so this is where the boys are gonna sleep. So the boy's cousin has now come over. Hi buddy. <laughs> my channel and to another video today I'm coming to you from my new kitchen it's not completely done yet but as you can see we now have work tops which is really exciting so in today's video I did want to show you a few things that have changed around the house like we now have a floor as well in here which has been a huge difference and we're at that stage in our renovation where every single day there will be like noticeable changes which is really exciting because for months and months it felt like it was things that you didn't necessarily see like the electrics, the plumbing, the stuff behind the walls and everything. Um, so they're actually coming back next week to finish the kitchen and put some cupboards up on the walls and also give us water and electric in here. So then we can pretty much use it. But today we did actually have breakfast in here for the very first time. Anyway, I thought that I would film a day in the life today. It's Saturday. So we're going to have like a fun family day out. Uh, but first thing today, Caleb has a tutoring session at 10 a.m with Go Student. So he's just going to do that in his room. And I also wanted to let you know that I have an amazing discount code with them. Again, I think the most asked question I get in my DMs and comments is, do you still have a Go Student discount code? So they have given me another one and it's going to be EMILYX10. I'll put it on screen here and I'll put a link in the description as well. If you click on that and you use the code, you'll get 10% off of all of their tutoring packages and you also get a free trial session. So if you're unsure about tutoring, you can actually let your child just test it out for themselves, see if they actually like it and enjoy it. And if they do, great, you can go ahead with it, but if not, there's no obligation to carry on. Yes, yeah, so Fraser had tutoring for about two years and I really feel like it made a difference and helped him get into his senior school of choice. Now we're actually focusing on Caleb though. He's about to start year four, so he's gonna have tutoring in maths and English, but go student tutor in every school subject for every age range. All the sessions are one-to-one. -one. They're about 50 minutes long and they're all done virtually, which for me is one of the biggest benefits about it because it fits into family life so very well so Caleb's obviously got his session in a minute but his brothers are just chilling out in their pajamas still like we don't have to get ready we don't have to get everyone in the car and take them somewhere he can just log on from the comfort of his own home Kiki normally sits next to him while he does the sessions and even if you're abroad or on holiday you can still log on if you've got Wi-Fi and have your sessions and another really good thing about it being virtual is go student tutors like they're not limited to geography they don't have to live in your town they can find the best tutors from all over the place and match your child up with someone that will really suit them you do like a little questionnaire when you sign up you can also fill in like their interests and stuff so Caleb's tutors often like how's gymnastics going they talk about what football team they support and stuff and it's like just a really good rapport also all the UK 
way. Tutors have enhanced DBS checks as well, and it's super easy to schedule the sessions and also reschedule the sessions. If you need to change it at the last minute, you can easily do that online. You can always email them as well. So I really rate it just because it is so easy to fit into your life and it's a really good quality service as well. As private tutoring goes, it is affordable. So if your child is struggling in any areas or you want to push them in any areas, I would really recommend it. You can just try the trial session and then use my code for 10% off their packages. And it's something we're actually going to keep up during the summer because I just feel like after the past few years that we've had, um, there is still a little bit of catching up to do. And I'd really like Caleb to kind of like keep up his maths and English and grow in confidence during like the six weeks holiday. Anyway, links below. We're going to go do that now and then I'll give you a little home update and we'll go out for the day. Can you tell me what shape this is? That's a pentagon. Yes. Seven pound eight P. Half oh. See what we did there? Yeah. Oh, two, do two dash four. Yes, but the other way round. Yes. Eight and eight equals 16, but you would put the one under the other line, yes. Yep. I support Crystal Palace. Okay, so now we're just going to go to our local park. We're going to take Kiki and she can have a run around. And the boys have got really into riding on their hoverboard again. We'll play some football and stuff. So I'm going to take a picnic. The boys went and got some tiger bread. This is like their absolute favorite. So we're going to have tiger bread sandwiches, some fruit and stuff, crisps, whatever. And I'm going to pack it. I haven't used this all year. This is our picnic basket. So I'm just going to fill it up with stuff. And then we'll go to the park because I feel like... When you've got a dog as well, especially, you want to like kind of run them around before you do anything else, and it's a beautiful day. So, we're gonna go, aren't we, Kicks? Yeah! Jackson's new obsession. He's got really good at Caleb's hoverboard, haven't you? Yeah, should we see? Show us your moves. <laughs> you can have a go in a sec. Uh oh. Gosh. Okay, I'm back again. <laughs> and then he's gone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here he comes. Uh oh. Wow. Hi, sweetie. Where have you been? <laughs> She's running around. We've got some ham and cheese for her a little bit. So we're now having a picnic at the park. It's actually so nice and warm in the sun. Just wanted to give Kiki a run around as well. Um, but yeah, this is the place we used to come during lockdown, like those woods. We used to like hang out in there like for our daily walk. Um, yeah, it's pretty quiet today. No, I'm really here. Yeah, Kiki wants to go into the woods because it's nice and cool as well. We might have to move oh, to the so, shade, I think. So tired. I wish I was like her dog brother. A real dog brother. What, Kiki's? Yeah. 
She has got a brother. Uh, I really miss her brother. You the miss brother, her brother? The one you the, never met? The brother garlic, really garlic, liked me. He's like... Garlic, the garlic, garlic, garlic. The you bro I wonder if... I the wonder brother was him. just climbing on me like... Two of them were just like climbing on me like... Yeah. yeah. Filming it just in case she hopefully falls over. See ya. T posing. Oh, do you like? Do you want to wear a helmet, guys? Do you want to wear a helmet, guys? Now, guys. Careful. Don't go too fast, Emily. We've hired a new gardener. He's very, very good. You water them as well? Yeah, because obviously with the building work, they had to dig up some of our garden here. So they put some soil down and they've seeded it and Jackson's been watering it every day. And grass is actually growing, isn't it, Jax? Are you gonna grow that as well? So yeah, I'll show you some of the grass is, is finally coming through. Yeah, so all of his hard work is working. You can see some of the grass coming through. So hopefully it will be a bit more green soon. So now we've got the slip and slide out because it's a nice hot day. Is it a bit cold? Should I do the hot tap? We just had a hot tap fitted outside, so we could try it out. But I always find the slip inside is so much easier to get out than the paddling pool. So we got this one on Amazon. I'll link it if you're interested, but there was loads on there. Um, but yeah, they love it. Mommy, look, that one's going the wrong way. Oh yeah, look at that one. It's watering our grass. Look. Show, show how you jump on it. Or do you want me to do the warm water? Also, I know I've said it a few times before about the fact that Fraser's is going away for five days. In two sleeps, Independence Day. Yeah, he's literally going in two sleeps. Do you think you're ready? Mm, I don't know, I miss you. I miss you. I promise. I, I think you'll look after yourself, won't you? You'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah. But it just feels like, because he's got so many levers things at school and we've had like his induction night at senior school and I don't know, it just feels like all of a sudden he's very grown up. In one part of the presentation it said, oh you know, when you have children, you're between them and the world, then they get a bit older and you're beside them and the world, and then they get a bit older and then you're behind them and the world. Yeah, it's funny how now that I have a pre-teenager who's going to senior school and he just feels very grown up at the moment, like, I feel a bit like I just hope I've done enough because now he's kind of like off on his own He's gonna have a bit more freedom and stuff. So you kind of feel like have I done a good enough job? Because now he's kind of like he's got to go and be himself. It's like a weird weird feeling I think I think we have he's very sensible like I really do trust him I trust that he'll always be kind and like do the right thing so I think he'll be fine but there is that just like I think as well because you know what high school was like you know what like how kids can be like at senior school um there's always that fear um but yeah anyway <laughs> i'll stop going on about it who's the most loved dog you Hi. Okay, so now we're gonna give you a bit of a home update and show you a few new things, like the floor is now down and we've got our countertops as well. 
So the floor has made the room feel so much bigger. Before we had it down, it was literally just cement. You can see Kiki's got a new favorite spot over there. Um, but yeah, we actually changed our mind on the floor just two weeks before it went down. We were going for something a bit lighter, a bit different. And then Max changed his mind at the last minute. Right, and was like, Sorry. these wide planks that are like warmer is the way to go. So we went with it and it does actually, you know, we were worrying about the island, but it does kind of work with the wooden island. Um, so yeah, this floor runs throughout the downstairs pretty much, the spare room, the hallway, the playroom, all of it. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much the floor. Having loads of rugs, we're having like a runner there, we're having a big rug here with the lounge sofas on, there's gonna be runners in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Down here. Yeah, it's all going to add to the look. Did you um, say cakes? Oh, sorry. Because she's so cute. Kiki likes it. Sorry, cakes. She knows her name. Next up, worktops. They went in last week. We found it really difficult to choose, even though we just wanted to go for a bright color. Um, but in the end, we went for this suede finish. It feels really nice. Um, and it's got a little bit of gray in it as well. We're really pleased with how it's turned out. When the men were actually putting it in, I nearly cried. I felt really emotional for some reason. That's because they dropped it on your foot. <laughs> I was just, I don't know, I just felt like we've been dreaming about it for so, like literally over two years. It actually made it real, didn't it? Because there was suddenly a usable yeah. space. Yeah, and I think like the size of the island, it was surprising. Like we decided to not put anything on top of it, like the stove or the sink. So it is just like this giant island and it's just gonna be great for the kids and us to eat at and prepare food at. So yeah, it's really exciting. Um, so yeah, that is worked up. So we've got it all around. We've got it on the little bar as well. And I think we're gonna have the same one in the pantry, are we? I think so, yeah. 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 Do you wanna, Matt knows more about this probably. Um, no, I don't know anything about it. You can't really tell. It doesn't really show up on camera, but it is it's... like a real like, I say like a matte finish, it's just like really dry. So the kitchen guys are coming back next week to put the rest of the cupboard doors up. Hopefully we're gonna get electric and water as well. And then once everything is in place, then they can measure up for the pantry and go off and build that. So it is like a bit of a process, but the fridge is gonna go here. And then a, what looks like a kitchen cupboard is gonna go here, but it's gonna be a hidden door to go into the pantry. So once all of this is in, then they can measure up. It's funny because when they start doing the kitchen, you think, oh, I'll have a kitchen by the end of the week. But then there's only so much they can do without floor. There's only so much they can do without countertop. And then there's, do you know what I mean? It's like yeah. a big, long thing. But we're nearly there. <laughs> I probably should not show all this and like save it for some massive reveal. We're going to do that as well. But I'm just so excited about it. Um, and we're kind of using it already, aren't we? We're sort of hanging out in here and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and these are actually the bar stools from our old house. You yeah, I told you they were them. worth saving. Yeah, so we saved couple of weeks. them in the loft. Um, but we might get some new ones because our interior designer, Abby, she was like, don't go beige. Like, it's, it's, it's like too beige. So she thinks we should go for another color. So these are the samples. She likes the brown, doesn't she? Got black stone, and I think not maybe not that one. But let us know what you think. I think they're going to have a black that. frame. They're going to be like quite slim. They're going to be smaller than these, so they fit better. Mm. Um, but yeah, so a black frame with either black. Mm. What do you? Brown. Think? That's called coffee bean. Oh, if they're black, then maybe that won't be so bad. Black mm. frame. Oh, the actual stools are black. It's just just the seat. Oh, it's just that. Oh, so yeah. maybe one of these. I don't know. Tell us. <laughs> what I do you know. think, Mummy? I think <laughs> that's a <an> horrible angle. <laughs> I don't know. See Bye. Ya. See ya. <laughs> and this is the downstairs spare room, which we were gonna maybe do as like a bit of a gym. It's not a massive room at all, but we think we could maybe fit the treadmill in it and some weights or something. If any of you guys like know 
PT fitness stuff. <laughs> like, as well as I do. No, like we've been looking, there are some benches where you store the weights underneath it. So it's like space saving. But I think we need to be clever. I've seen things that go on the wall, which have like weight pulleys. Not that wall though. No. But I think, 100 like, parts behind it. I'll use it a little bit, you'll use it. But then I'm thinking when the boys, boys are older, yeah. they might love having a gym at home. I don't know. Or it'll become a spare bedroom for our parents to stay in. Um, these are doors we're having everywhere. So we're having one there, mm -hmm. and then we're having them on the playroom, the front room, and the office at the front. Um, and the sliding doors around the I corner like for the playroom will be two of those, yeah, that slide into the pockets. Mm. Um, it's very nice. Yeah. Now we're upstairs in our bedroom and we wanted to show you progress with our walk-in wardrobe. So we had a few quotes to get this done and it was really expensive. So in the end, our carpenter built these two shelves up here, which is where like the clothes will hang. Obviously we're gonna paint them and everything. And then we got all the drawers from Ikea. Uh, so I'll link them if you're interested, but we just needed like space for t-shirts, underwear, all of that is gonna go in here. And then at the end, we've left a little space for like any long hanging dresses and stuff. So we've got a little bit of room. I mean, I don't have loads of formal dresses. So there's just like a bit of space there. We've also got a bit of room in the boys, haven't we as well? Cause they've got loads yeah. of storage. Yeah, they've got loads. And then like with Matt's hats and stuff, he can like put them up there. And... The shoes are going along here. If I just oh, made the sorry. perfect size. Oh. But then shoes I'm worried, size. I'm worried how much of this I'm going to get because I've seen how many clothes you have. No, but I'm going to have a clear out. Yeah, so we've had a loft hatch put loft, in. Yeah. If that will go dark enough. So we've got a loft hatch there. So we've actually, this is like an eve of our house along here and yeah. it was loft space that just wasn't used because you can't really get to it. Yeah. It's quite a low head space. So Emily will have two seasons up there. Yeah, no, like all and that, half a season that, in here. No, you know you've got like loads of like holiday clothes that you only get out when you need to go on holiday. Mm. But also I feel like, and I don't know if any other women feel like this, but because I've been like pregnant three times in the past 10 years, like my body has like changed and gone back and changed. I feel like I've held on to loads of clothes that I just don't need to be hanging on to. So I'm hopefully gonna get rid of, I still have some maternity leggings and stuff. Um, so yeah, I think I need to just like let go of a few things. So yeah, but we're excited and yeah. we're so pleased like, at one point, we were just going to have a walk-in wardrobe completely open. We yeah, were this have, wall like, wasn't going to be here, was it? Yeah, we are just going to have like an open wardrobe. Well, open plan room, really, wasn't it? Which obviously, yeah. we made the room even bigger. Yeah, but, but I'm so glad now that we will be able to like, chuck it in here because the bedroom's going to look a bit tidier and stuff. A, um, a couch where the bath is. We'll have a couch on the end of it. The chair drobe. Chair drobe, yeah, yeah. basically. <laughs> In our old house. Yeah. Oh, these in there, aren't they? Yeah. These lights. Oh, yeah. So the electrician put these lights in. This is where my vanity unit's going. Yeah, so I hope I can there. sit with a mirror, do my makeup. Yeah. Very and then there's like a matching light for that up here, which will be above our mirror. So we have like a full length mirror there. It's like a radiator going there. And then the best bit. We haven't actually put this on camera for ages, have we? Mm. We've sort of left this room because we've been so busy getting the kitchen and stuff done. But this is yeah. really close to being done once the bathroom's done. It just needs carpet. Yeah. As soon as the ensuite's done, we can move in, which we're really hoping will be like the kids finish school in a few weeks. We're really hoping that we'll have our own bedroom by then and it will all just be a bit more livable. We have some good news and some bad news. What's the bad news? What do you want we first? We start with... The bad news first. Because then we can be happy about the good news after. Great idea. The bad news isn't actually that bad. Okay. It's just something you always have to do. We've got to clean up. Oh. Yeah? <laughs> okay, let's face. <laughs> you got over that quite quickly. No, it's not good news. But we have to clean up because... What? Charlie's coming around. Yeah, your cousin's Charlie's coming Charlie's having over. a sleepover. Yeah! Is that good news? Yeah. I love cleaning. You love cleaning? Maybe. Just like your dad. Never clean. Where do we have to clean? I think it's because he's a Virgo. I think it's because he loves tidying up. I'm really good at cleaning. Yes. You're good at cleaning. You are good at cleaning. You actually are really good at cleaning, aren't you? Yeah. So you're even better at making a mess. 
So the boys are doing the front room, but I am going to be doing the room of doom. This is our sort of like temporary kitchen at the moment, and it is a real like dumping ground. So I'm going to do this room, but I'm going to listen to my favorite podcast at the moment. It is the Diary of a CEO. Love listening to it in my car or watching it on YouTube, and I'm halfway through the Bears, Bear Grylls one. So I'm just going to have this on and tidy up. <laughs> Did you ever stop and think why I spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest, I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time Girl, I know what's bothering me I need somebody to love Oh, nah, 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 nah Don't you see what's wrong with me? I need somebody to love Oh, oh, nah, nah, nah. I don't So we wanted to show you some drawings that Jackson's been doing. They're very, very cool. So this one, Jackson said it is him, you see the curly hair, in my tummy. And then this that's one, oh and that's daddy, there. And then this one is pretty amazing. This is me with hundreds of babies in my tummy. Mm -hmm. That's my bed, and that's the refrigerator. And that's the fridge. And that's, is this all your brothers and sisters? Mm -hmm, yeah. And then who's this? Is this our family? Yeah. That's you, mm -hmm. Fraser Caleb. Daddy. Oh, Daddy, oh, because he's tall with the hat. That's really good. Look at Daddy's like black dog. Oh, da <laughs> Daddy's like, ah, isn't he? Well, you, you would like another baby, wouldn't you? Oh, Jax. Oh, is he going to go, ah? How do you write ah? It's ah. Ah. And then, like, normally you hear, like, a huh. 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 Ah. Is that what Daddy would do if I was pregnant with all these babies? Yeah. And then... <laughs> That's really good. So the boy's cousin has now come over. This is Charlie. Say hi, buddy. <laughs> We're excited to have him here. So we've actually got a takeaway tonight. No, having I cooked. Um, but we've got midpoint, which does all different stuff. We've got like burgers, chips, curly fries. <laughs> Jackson's got spaghetti bolognese because he just fancied it. Oi, what about the um, nuggets? And you've got nuggets, haven't you, Caleb? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we're just gonna eat this at the breakfast bar. Do you, do you want some of it? There's so much that I'm still keeping to myself. Cause you don't listen, babe. But still, you got me missing you. When I see you, my heart starts racing. But I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking. are still playing outside it's about 8 30 now and they're playing football and are on the trampoline still i think when our nephew comes to stay my sister-in-law thinks like oh so kind of us but in reality it's literally like having child care i don't know what it is but from going from three to four just adding one more in the mix really does help like he entertains all of them um so it actually makes life really easy so now matt and i are just in the kitchen and we're doing something really exciting this saturday night we're actually planning out 
the kitchen drawers because like I said they're coming back this week and we still need to tell them like what dividers we want in drawers like cutlery drawers we're also having some dividers for the water bottles and storage and <laughs> weights and stuff like that um, so that's what we're doing this Saturday night we're just planning out the drawers um, so yeah I think we're in the vlog not here the drawers, I was hoping because to see. Matt said it's not the drawers he was hoping to see, um, but yeah, not too much to report. Um, and I think, like, obviously we haven't got that like, many bedrooms at the moment. Jackson's room has become a bit of like a junk room slash wardrobe for me. So we've just been staying in two of the rooms, which are Fraser's and Caleb's. So tonight we're actually going to get all four boys to sleep in Fraser's bedroom together and then Matt and I are going to sleep in Caleb's room. So it's going to be a bit of a squeeze, but I'll show you how we're going to set that all up. The boys are so excited about it. Okay, so this is where the boys are going to sleep in Fraser's room. So we've got the double bed where Fraser and Jax are going to sleep together. And then we've brought two singles in from the bunk bed next door. And that's where Caleb and Charlie are going to sleep. And then we put the little lights on. Um, Fraser got these for Christmas there, these little LED lights. Um, so we put them on and then we're gonna put the projector up and put a film on for a bit and they can kind of chill out for an hour or so. Um, but yeah, that is the boys tonight. Okay, so the boys have chosen a film called We Can Be Heroes. So we've just put that on the little nebula projector. It's just this one here, I put it on a tripod, but it is the size of like a Coke can. We've had it for ages and it's just been brilliant, especially while we've been renovating and not always had a TV. Yes, yeah, so the boys are just sat here. So I guess we'll say good night. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to check out my code in the description, and like I'll link it and everything. And I'll see you in my next one.